Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph or a bitmap, whatever it is, uh, and asked how you would draw somebody that. It's like a stack of 3D rings, uh, like they're being shot out or whatever. And I just, I didn't know if the blend tool would work on something like this. And it, the blend tool did change because I added some, uh, but it looked pretty cool. I added some interactive fill. And the interactive feel kind of changed, but pretty easy. I didn't draw it exactly. I'm going to try to get it closer to this today or now. So I'm going to, I'm just going to get an ellipse and I'm not going to hold down the control button. I'm going to make a, a oblong ellipse and then I'm going to grab the extrude tool and I'm going to try to come straight down. And this is where it's a little bit difficult. In this picture, they almost look like they're, uh, rings so you just kind of kind of play with that looks like a dish so we still get the interactive fill you can change it but the key is to rotate it and to rotate it like that and you it looks like a dish but we need we actually need the bottom part to come into play so i'm going to call that good and then what you need to do is select it all go to object and break the extrude group apart and then you need to take away the lines that you cannot see. And those two lines you wouldn't be able to see. And then just take the, the Smart Fill tool and fill that in with gray. Get a little bit darker for the background. You could either take away the outline or add an outline and make it look like that. And I think that looks pretty close to what they got. So let's grab it all, Control G, and group it. I'm going to turn it for no other reason and I just like to uh, be at this angle when I'm going to uh, blend. So I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and move this over. And then I'm going, let's see how many there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's six. We already got two. So let's go to effects and blend and blend just four times. Now we can make a shape. So we got a blend up here. We can take, I'm going to just use the three point line curve. And I'm just going to start like right there, let go of the mouse and just kind of angle it up. And then I'm going to grab our blend. I'm going to go to new path, put it on the path, go to blend along full path and rotate all object. That looks pretty good. And you can play around with the, the, the uh, what I do like about the blend the last several years, I've noticed you could still change your path. You know, you can uh, make your path whatever you want on the fly and you could move these around and make them look like they're falling. It's pretty cool when you add a few more. I was just playing around. Let's just add a few more to get back to where there were just two. And then blend them eight times and then get your path again. Once again, I'm just going to use the three point curve and I'm going to try to kind of imagine the length of this and then just kind of curve it. Then grab your blend, go to new path, put it on the path, blend along full path and rotate all objects. That looks pretty cool. And then if you'll just grab the whole thing and go up to object, well, a lot of times you have to grab the whole thing to be able to break the blend apart to take away that line. But once you've taken away that line, you can't do, you can't change the path. But that looks pretty cool. Uh, I would play around with it a little more if I was going to, if it had to be exactly that. Um, but I think we're close enough. See, we got, we can see through them. Uh, I don't know what that really represents, but um, to me, if I added some other lines, I'd have a slinky. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.